Well, still to come this morning, the lovely Melanie Sears here. We're going to chat to her in a moment about the all sorts of things she's got coming up. Now, though, it's competition time. Your chance to win a motorhome worth over £50,000 plus £20,000 cash is Susie Perry. In love with that now. She was in the biggest selling girl band of all time, the Spice Girls. Remember them? They were quite successful, weren't they? They were. Yeah, they, they were. They sold uh, 65 billion records. <laughs> Not bad. Apparently. Not bad. I love that. Every time someone says the number just escalates, and now it's in billions, what? not even millions. How much, how much is it? Do you know? Have you got any idea how many I, albums sold? I think it was over 50 million. I think that is true. Wow. That's that is ridiculous. ridiculous. It's it's mind-blowing. And when you look back, actually, we were looking at some pictures earlier when we were, you know, talking about you coming on. Uh, there is something special about them. I know they were a manufactured band, but it seems different to the ones now. There was an energy, wasn't there? That was... I love you talking about Spice Girls. If I wasn't one of them, they were a manufactured band. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you were. Well, I don't know. Do you know it seemed to be we a long were, time. We were, they were manufactured. On. That's something that's... Uh, it's you were a real really. misconception about the Spice Girls because we were originally auditioned by our original management, but we left them and then that's when we became Spice yeah. to become Spice Girls and we kind of write, started writing or collaborating and co-writing yeah. our own stuff and wearing what we wore as individuals and so it, it happened really naturally. Yeah, I did. Did you ever yes. see them? Yes, I, I do. do. I've seen a lot of Emma recently. We're sick of the sight of each other. <laughs> um, no, it's lovely. I've seen Emma a lot. I saw Jerry at the weekend. And oh. It's difficult to see Melanie because she lives in Australia now. She's very busy over there doing X Factor and Dancing with the Stars. And of course, Victoria is really busy with her fashion empire. But we yeah. hook up when she's in town. Good. Uh, now, yeah. Good. Mel C is going to be playing Mary Magdalene, of all things, in Jesus Christ. He's Superstar. talking about you as if you're not here now. Yeah, it's, it's weird, weird isn't it? Well, no, I do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't realise. We actually didn't introduce you. We didn't say it's Mel C with this us, is everyone. True, everyone actually. knows who you are anyway, so yeah. it's not an issue. But uh, the move into musicals. Yes. We saw you in, in Blood Brothers, a great yeah. movie there. Was that always well, planned? Is that you know, that you musical theatre has been a love of mine for a, a very mm. long time, all through my childhood. And I grew up in the 80s, so it was the time when Andrew Lloyd Webber, I mean, he still is, but when he really became the king of musical theatre. I love musicals like Cats in Evita, Starlight Express, which is back on tour now. But Jesus Christ Superstar, it just feels like it's been with me all of my life. Mm. It was first released, I think, in 1970. It was a hugely successful album. And it's back, and we're doing an arena tour, which is mm. incredible. It's with incredible. the likes of? Tim Minchin is Judas, and Chris Moyles is playing King yeah. Herod. And yeah. this is his first role in that way, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I think if people know the show, they'll understand the casting. He's yeah. going to do a great job. It's a really fun role, King Herod. Have you seen him do anything yet? Have you started rehearsing? Well, I've heard Chris sing before. Oh, Over the years, you? you know, going in and out of Radio 1. Yeah. He can sing, he's got a voice. But I think he's going to be quite nervous, so it'd be nice to see him out of his comfort zone. But of course, you don't yet know who's going to be Jesus. No. This is who we've been searching for, this yeah. live long search. But um, there's a new ITV1 show. Sure. The live show start in July, but we've been filming since March, and it's amazing because the been, talent you, is you've so You've been fun. assisting Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yeah, I've been working with Jason Donovan, yeah. which has just been a dream. He's such a great person to work with. We've had loads of fun, and the boys who are applying for the role are just incredible. Mm. There's a new musical about the Spice Girls, isn't there, Jennifer? There Saunders. is. Have you got involved There's in that? Exciting news afoot. Um, yes, yeah. we are getting very close are to you? getting the show on a theatre, yes. So hopefully the end of this year, if not the beginning of next. Now, that would be weird. Will you be able to pick who plays you? Well, it's an original story. It's been inspired ah, by our music okay. and it's been written by Jennifer Saunders. Yeah. And our producer is Judy Kramer, who very famously produced Mamma Mia. So we've got a dream team in place. God, that would be good. Yeah. Um, can you indulge me here? I'm just going to ask a football-related question yes. to uh, Melanie C, who's yes. a big Liverpool fan. I am sad indeed. to see King Kenny go, Kenny Dalglish. Very sad. Yeah, I was I was shocked yesterday. I, I'm really sad. He's a legend on Merseyside, and he always will be. We haven't had the best of seasons, you know. We've bought a cup home this mm. year, but it's it's been tough for a few years for Liverpool, and I, you know, I adore Kenny, and it will, you know, it won't be the same at Anfield without him. Mm. But I suppose on a positive note, Stephen Gerrard, you love him, don't well, you? Well, yesterday was about a that. roller coaster. Yeah, for Liverpool fans, we got the great news that Stephen Gerrard is going to be England captain. About time, mm. in my opinion. Aww. And of course, you know, King Kenny's gone, so we're kind of all over the place, us Reds. <laughs> yeah. um, and do you want to say hello to your um, your little one at home before Hi, we go? Hi, Scarly. Oh. Be a good girl. I'll see you later. 
<laughs> she's already commented on your jacket, hasn't she? Yeah, she likes my jacket today. Yeah, very good. She, good to get she said it was, it, it, was, it was what kind of jacket? A zig zigzag. Zig. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah it's very zig zig zag. Oh. Zig oh, yeah, zig Sorry, sorry. Thanks so much. Lovely to see you. Good luck with everything. Oh, tickets go on sale on Friday. Oh, we're going to say that. Yes, so you don't even know Jesus. Right, brilliant. We can all go and see that show. Thank you very much. Let's get the weather. Here's Lucy.